Alrighty, now we need to talk about equations of circles and using the distance formula to figure out the radius. Why would we use the distance formula? Well, it goes back to the definition of a circle. A circle is a set of points all the same distance from one point. That would mean all the same distance from the center, and that distance is called radius. So if we use the distance formula, that will find us the radius. And that's usually a very important part of the equation. For those of you who don't remember what the distance formula is, there it is. D equals y2 minus y1 quantity squared plus x2 minus x1 quantity squared, all that square root. And amazingly enough, it looks an awful lot like the Pythagorean theorem, because actually they are the same thing. It also looks a lot like, let's square both sides, d squared equals y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. It also looks like the circle equation, which, yeah, because circle is defined as the distance between the center and the edge. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about how to use this. Now, we really use this when we don't have a picture. When we have a picture, Pythagorean theorem seems to make more sense because we're used to drawing right triangles. This will be when we don't have a drawing. And we just have numbers. Like, numbers to stick in there. Alright, here's the kind of thing we'll be given. Uh, and we'd want to use a distance formula for this. We're told where the center is. And we're told that a point on the circle is 5, 9. So now we have to figure out the radius. Because if we're told the center... We know part of the equation. We know it's going to be x minus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 5 quantity squared equals r squared. So now we just got to figure out r. And r is the distance formula. It's a distance between those two points. So we do distance equals square root of... It said y2 minus y1. It doesn't matter which one you take as y2 and y1. Because uh, when we square things, negative signs go away. It's just how far apart the two things are. So it's going to be 9 minus 5 squared plus then the x is 5 minus 3 squared. 9 minus 5 is 4 squared plus 2 squared so we have a 16 and a 4, so that comes out to be 20. Now, d equals the square root of 20. But remember this equation wanted r squared? So it actually wants d squared. So if we square that, we just get 20. Because when you square a square root, it kind of cancels. So that's how you're doing it. You're just finding about how, how far apart the points are. All right, here we go again. Uh, we're told where the center is. We're told a point on the circle. So again, the center tells us two-thirds of that equation. We'll get to that in a minute. We need to find the radius. Actually, we need to find r squared. So we need to find the distance between these two points. Um, so that's a distance formula. d equals, let's go with d squared because I want r squared for my formula. So instead of drawing this square root thing, I've squared it and kind of gotten rid of it. That's algebra. You should be able to do that. Um, so we're going how far apart the y's are. Again, I go from 7 minus 5 squared plus 3. That's not a 3. What am I writing? 3 minus negative 2 squared. 7 and 5 are 2 apart. That makes sense. 3 and negative 2. How far apart are they? They are 5 apart. Remember, we got to go 3 back to 0 and then another 2 more. So that's 4. That's 25. So this is 29. Awesome. D squared is 29. So that's R squared. So now let's uh, write the equation somewhere. Man, I'm running out. I don't have much room. I better erase some stuff. What can I erase? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, nothing. I'll just write over. You're fine with that, right? Okay. X 
minus plus 2 squared plus yeah you're not gonna like me writing over things so I'm gonna get rid of that line right there um then we need y's uh, y minus 5 squared equals 29 so there's the equation of our circle uh, the positive 2 came from this negative 2 and the negative 5 5 came from this positive 5, and the 29 came from um, here, d squared, because d squared is r squared, because d is the distance between points, and the distance between points is the radius, but I want d squared in it, not just d, so we will do one more. All right, this one is for you to do, and then I will write it down afterwards, so you need to pause this, write this down, do it, and then come back. And I will have the answer for you. All right, here's my answer. How's it check with yours? How's it mesh with yours? I'll explain it here in a second. All right, the center gets me my x and my y things inside there. It's a minus 1, so it's x plus 1. It's a positive 3, so it's a y minus 3. Both of those are going to be squared. My 32 came from my distance formula. Again, it's how far apart are the dots. So first I did how far apart are 7 and 3. They're 4 apart. Then I did how far apart are 3 and negative 1. Well, there happen to also be 4 apart. Um, so that's 16, 16, 32. And that's d squared, which is r squared. Boom.